prison isn't for everyone, and many choose to stay away. But when you end up on the wrong side of the law, you can spend a number of years behind bars. However, a handful of inmates have been locked up for the most part of their life, away from normal civilization. Today we will look at the stories of 10 men, who served the longest prison sentence ever. Number 1. Paul Geidel Jr., 68 years. He's known to have served the longest prison sentence in the United States. He was sentenced to 68 years in a number of New York State prison, and he lived to see the day he was released from prison. That is very uncommon to say the least. At the end of his lengthy sentence, he was 86 years of age. Back in 1911, Paul was convicted of second-degree murder, at the age of 17 years old. When Paul was released, he actually didn't want to leave the prison system, because that was the only life that he knew of. However, during his release, he made headline news on most newspapers. Paul went on to live in a nursing home for the remaining years, before dying at the age of 93 years old, which is about 7 years after being released from prison. He only spent about 24 years of his entire life as a free man. Number 2, Eddie Collins. We are talking about a man who has been locked up for the past 43 years. Eddie was serving time for first-degree murder. Throughout his prison stay he said, and I quote, It was a sad situation, it was something I regret and still regret. He was 21 years old living in Arizona at the time. He grew up in the worst part of the city, where he was buying and selling drugs with his 17-year-old brother. One day, when Eddie and his brother was buying drugs, they got into an altercation, and that's when Eddie pulled out his gun, and that's the moment his life changed forever. Number 3, John Franzese, 50 years. He is a 100 years old mobster, who has just been released from prison after serving 50 years behind bars. John was released on the 23rd of June this year. He was released from the Federal Medical Center, in Devons, Massachusetts. John was one of the leading boss, of the Colombo Crime Organization. He has boasted about killing at least 60 people, throughout his life as a senior boss. It's actually so crazy, that this guy was allowed to be released into the public. At this present moment, he may be very harmless and old, and unable to do much, but he didn't give those 60 people a chance at life. Number 4. Charles Ford, 64 years. He managed to outlive a 64-year-long prison sentence. The worst part of it all, is that Charles was actually innocent. He has served one of the longest sentences as an innocent person, he was finally released in 2017. Charles was convicted of murder, a murder he did not commit. Here is a backstory of the events that took place, this happened in the early 50s, and Charles is a black man, who appeared in front of an all-white jury, in a time where black people didn't really have any rights. Charles was just 20 years old at the time, and his life just flashed before him. After 64 years, he was finally released into a nursing center, where he is now 86 years old. Number 5. Otis Johnson, 44 years. Otis went to prison at the age of 25, for the attempted murder of a police officer. He has been locked away since the 70s, and now he has to re-enter into the modern society of complex technology. Back in 1998, was when he lost touch with everyone, so he doesn't know anything about the location of his existing family, he is pretty much alone in the world. When he was released, the prison officers gave him back his ID, and $40 that he owned. The ID is pretty much the only thing he has left of himself, and also $40 will only get you past a few days of food. He enters the world as a homeless person at the age of 69, finding work at this age will be difficult, which will have an impact on his final few years. I guess that was a decision he should have decided 44 years ago. Number 6, Johnson Grigsby, 66 years. Johnson was sentenced to prison back in 1908, for the murder of a young man. Over the years he was denied release 33 times, before he was finally released at the age of 89 years old, because he was deemed a non-threat to society. He was released in 1974 after serving 66 years but he actually quickly returned back to prison voluntarily after finding it difficult searching for a job. So he checked himself back to prison for two more years. He decided to leave the prison lifestyle for good, at the age of 91. However, 10 years later, he passed away at the age of 101 years old. Number 7, Howard Christensen, 64 years. Howard was sentenced to life without parole, for the murder of a teacher in 1937. He was 16 years old at the time that he murdered a teacher. Howard committed this crime alongside a 17-year-old boy, who was also caught. 
That person was also sentenced to life in prison, but he later hung himself back in 1943, just six years after being sentenced. About 30 years into the prison sentence, the charge was changed from life without parole, to 200 years in prison. But in 2001, after serving 64 years, he was finally released from prison, but just two years later he passed away. Number 8, Mr. Alderman, 62 years. He was a bank robber, who was obviously caught. His jail sentence started when he was 23 years old, back in 1917. He was the sole survivor of a four-man gang. Just a few years after being sent to prison, he was able to escape, it wasn't long before he got caught. This wasn't the first time, in 1924 he escaped again. He was later admitted into a mental hospital in 1927, it was here he passed away at the age of 86. He ruined his whole life, just because he wanted money that he didn't need to work for. He was able to steal $6,000, which was quite a bit of money in his time. With inflation, that money would have been worth $124,000. Number 9, Richard, who served 63 years. At the age of 22, Richard was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of a former school friend. Life imprisonment usually varies depending on the location of the crime, from country to country, state to city. Some places even have a three-strike law, meaning no matter what crimes are committed, as long as you're convicted of a felony, you'll be served with a life sentence. Richard was released after serving 63 years and one month, at the age of 85 years old. After 12 years of living by himself, in 1976, he passed away at the age of 97. Number 10, Harvey Stewart, 60 years. Harvey was released back in 2011, at the age of 83. He is the longest serving inmate in Texas. Harvey has a number of felonies under his belt, and also a convicted killer. Stewart can't recall one person who visited him in the past decade, and has been isolated from the world. So coming out after 60 years, must be a huge shock to him. When he was sentenced to prison, a brand new car cost under $1,700, shoes were 10 bucks, John F. Kennedy was the president, people went to space for the first time, the Beatles released their first single in the UK. So much has changed over time, soon enough he will learn about the iPhone, and the feature that allows him to watch TV, on a small screen, while taking a walk in the park.